somebody sir well clap your hands everybody if you love the Lord come on you can do better than that clap those hands all ye people come on clap those hands all ye people then the scripture says now shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph come on shout unto him hallelujah for the Lord is good amen somebody you ought to look at your neighbor and say the Lord is good come on tell another neighbor the Lord is good now look at one more neighbor and say you hadn't seen nothing yet you ought to give him a good praise right about there hallelujah come on you ought to shake your neighbor and say you hadn't seen nothing yet oh bless his name oh bless his name now give the Lord a real good sanctified praise. Woo! Hallelujah. Well, while you're clapping your hands, let's bless God for the angels of this house, Bishop Joby Brady and Pastor Shell Brady. We love you. Come on, let's celebrate them tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's an honor to be here in the presence of the Lord tonight. I believe God has given me something that's going to really bless your life tonight. I didn't come to play games. I realize that the season that we're in, that God is doing something wonderful for his people. You ought to nudge your neighbor real good and say, this is your hour. This, this is, this is it. Oh, you ought to get another neighbor and say, this is it, baby. This is it. Sounds like somebody's getting it in the back. This is it. Woo! Oh God, I feel my help already. You ought to tell another neighbor, this is it. I'm telling you, this is it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You ought to turn around and tell another neighbor, this is it. This is it. Oh, yes, this is it. This is this is my God my God mm. and so God is doing something so wonderful and it's our hour it's our time to seize the moment amen somebody it's our time to seize the moment I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's our time to seize the moment. You ought to hit yourself and say, it's my time to seize the moment. Hallelujah. Well, let's get our kingdom constitution and let's see what the Lord has for us today. Get your Bible and let's, let's see what the Lord has for us today mm, you ought to just look at another neighbor and say this is it this is no don't play with it just really really shake them and say this is it now this this is this is it I'm pregnant with something and this is it hallelujah 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 I, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I tell you I was so blessed by the um, praise and worship tonight my God from Zion. Amen, somebody. I said, well, well Lord, what, 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 what do you do after all that? Amen, somebody. And we bless God for what he's doing in the river. Amen. And I'm telling you, I'm so glad to be a part of the river. I don't know what to do. I, I guess I'm the only person that's... You mean to tell me you're going to let me come from Tallahassee and tell you how grateful I am? Hallelujah. Uh, let's go to 
the word of God tonight. I'm honored to be here tonight. And um, I feel like preaching. I'm telling you, I feel, feel like preaching. Amen, somebody. Because if you don't sense it, I surely sense it. God is shifting things in our lives. I mean, that's going to blow not only your mind, but blow the world's mind. Amen, somebody. You ought to get ready for it. Let's go to Matthew 15. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. He's a wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 15, verses 21 through 28. When you have it, say amen. amen. And let's read real loud and read together. Amen, somebody? Amen. Come on, let's read. Then Jesus went thence. <coughs> and behold, a woman of Canaan came out the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. And his disciples came and sent her away to Christ after us. But he answered and said, I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not me. And she said, Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. That very hour. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Thank you for how you have gathered us here tonight for an encounter with destiny. We thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you that the atmosphere is already set for miracles. The Spirit of the living God, breathe in this place. Have your way tonight. Be glorified in this place. Take a hot coal from the altar and place it upon these lips that I will speak the truth tonight. Set the captive free. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for our appointment with destiny. And we give your name praise and glory in Jesus holy name we thank you amen and amen as you take your seat look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I feel the release breaking forth in my life because I'm desperate with a desire you may be seated in the presence of the Lord I want to talk tonight from the thought, a desperate desire, a desperate desire. Many of our anger and frustration and bitterness as people come from the increase of disappointed desires. Years and years of disappointed desires have made us angry people. Mm -hmm. We have attempt to tell our souls not to desire in an effort to maintain control over our lives. We allow ourselves manageable desires in order that we don't have to face the possibility of disappointment. God, let me preach in here. Instead of desiring what only God can do, we force ourselves to believe what only what, what we can provide for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You ought to tell your neighbor, think out of the box, think out of the box. Mm -hmm. Desire is the birthplace of passion.